Welcome to Oxman Garage. If you haven't visited the channel yet, my name is Philip, and this is Oxman Garage. So last week you saw me drive around my new to me ruckus that I traded a couple some car parts for and got some cash on top, which was kind of nice. So yeah, uh, if you haven't uh, watched that video yet, I'm gonna put a link up in the little eye to the uh, to that video. You can go watch it after this one. So what I am going to do today is I'm gonna start disassembling parts of this bike. So I'm gonna take off some of the the pieces that I don't need or I'm not going to use or possibly going to get powder coated. So there's going to be a couple things. So I'm going to start doing breakdown. I've already ordered some uh, parts and they should be here any time now. So that should be awesome. And also uh, the car cover hasn't come in yet, but hmm, hopefully the next video I'll uh, show you guys that car cover to, well, bike cover, bike, not car. Why is it car? I'm so used to cars, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just like car person that's bright and sunny isn't it uh, more of a car person i got this bike a uh, guy won some of the stuff i had and he offered me this plus cash and i took it i was like you know what you know if you haven't you know i'm spoiling everything from the video before i had one you know my brother little brother had one of these a long time ago years and years and years ago god that had to be like 10 years ago almost so it would be cool to have it and mod this one so you know how people like to modify ruckus for either performance or styling or you know other stuff so yeah i really can't talk can i it's been so long since i did these videos all the time that i'm just not being able to talk right sorry about that <laughs> but all right well what you guys came here to see let's get that started all right all right so what we're doing right now is we're going to take off the seat frame okay I felt like that was loose enough, but it's not. I'm gonna do that. So it's gonna be six bolts, I believe. It's six, three on, three on each side, I believe. Don't quote me. Ah, losing bolts, losing my bolts. I think I'm losing my mind. That's so why we got this little breaker bar, little quarter inch. So I don't want to hurt these bolts or anything. If I use like a three eighths or a half inch, there's a possibility of hurting the, the bolts, hurting the thread, stuff like that. So I'm not trying to go crazy on it, but also a little breaker bar, if I have any issues, I take care of it. bolt left. I think this whole thing will come off. There it is. There's the seat. In all its glory, it's gone. So, next thing I'm going to do is take this off and take this off and start opening it up and we're actually going to start seeing this transform into a you know this bike's going to definitely look a lot different um, one thing i might do too i might take off that the uh the rear uh, tail light assembly because i am going to be replacing that that's not going back on so i might take that off too i uh, will see here uh give me a couple minutes i'm gonna go grab a couple more tools real quick and a container put these bolts away all right i'm back let's put you guys down i got myself a uh parts organizer I got a bunch of these ones doing the skyline so this is actually a brand new one never been used so well I can break it out and start putting the stuff away properly and also before I'm done today I can go get a sharpie and put a name on all the bolts so I know exactly where they go back all right let's uh let's continue breaking this thing down shall we So we are taking off the four bolts for 
the floorboard cover. So underneath of this is the gas tank and pretty much the frame. And what this will do is, is it will just create a cleaner looking bike. And what I'm going to do is there's a, a uh, frame you can put on top for a footrest. And you can put foot pegs on it for a more comfortable ride. So that's what I will be doing. So don't know exactly. Okay, so I do need to unbuilt this one too. Let's do that real quick. <coughs> and voila. Okay, cool. So it looks like two is it's up underneath of the battery box. So I'll probably have to take the battery box to get this all off. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver. Uh, and but look at this real quick. Wowzers! That's real dirty. I just gotta get cleaned up. Look at all that dust. Holy moly. Alright guys. Let me go get a screwdriver. Alright, so I've got the screwdriver. Uh, Phillips and flathead, so if I need one, I got it. So I'm going to take this cover off and also looking at it, there's one right here and there's also one that's back here. Oh, no, right here. So I think maybe if I take these off, possibly, that will help with removing this. So I'm going to put this in with these because it's the front. And does that work? Oh, yeah. That's where we're having that, that issue. And now, do I really have to take the battery box off? Yep, battery box got to come off. Okay, not playing fun. Not playing. Not playing nice. So let's take this one off that I know I have right here. Then I'll take the one off on the other side too. Make sure I get these screws separated. All right, so camera battery died. So it's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. Here's one right here for the battery box. There you go. Oh. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. So let's take these two off. Get these off. And get this one. And now let's switch over to the other side and not drop you guys. And this side you can see all of them much better. So let's tackle this one right here. Just definitely, these are definitely the most finicky of them all. These little guys, they're tiny too. Ooh, that's all on the wild side, yeah. That one, and this one, and anything else? Well, I think that's everything. And there we go. We got the battery box off. And look inside here, all the guts, computer. And now, is there anything else holding this in? So let's put you guys down. Oh, that's it. That's off. That is off. So what's holding this bad boy in? Anything? No? Or just the gas tank that's laying on. Huh, doesn't look like all that much to come off for that. And just all the lines, or all, all the, what do you call it?
pretty much have taken off all the plastic. Tail it assembly, the gas tank I'll put back and I'll hook it back up. Seat off, that's probably never going back on except for the seat itself. But uh, I'm going to buy a different frame. Battery box is off on the front, on the back. I got to get the front one off. And I might video, I might, might tape some of this stuff or I might just do it and get it done and over with. I still gotta get all this off. I gotta get the engine off. I gotta get the frame so I can get that all off to powder coating. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go subscribe to the channel, guys. Give it, smash that like button, uh, like squad. Uh, try to get them YouTube algorithms up. So as far as the scooter cover that hasn't come in yet, which I don't know why, I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you wanna see which one I got. And if you want to go buy your own, uh, right off of Amazon, so I'm going to put that there. And hopefully, uh, next video I have, I will have the car cover, or scooter cover. Why well, I keep calling it a car cover? Uh, the scooter cover, but we're really not going to have a scooter to, uh, don't really have a scooter to cover right now. Hmm. So, alright, well, <laughs> this is going to effectively end today's video. Thanks guys for watching. Peace out.